The other major new game that we've got involved in this new skills competition is called 21 or Blackjack. And the way this game works is that you are trying to throw a score of as close to or of without going over 21. So you're trying to get as high as you can to 21 without busting. If you uh, bust, then you're out and the person who's the closest uh, wins at the end of the game. The catch to this game is that you have to throw your axe 10 times. And the way it works is we've got a slightly different scoring system for this. The axe has to be 100% in the point value for you to get any points. So you've got 10 throws to get 21 uh, without busting. Uh, you can, you're scoring 5, 3, and 1. The clutch rules still apply the same, however with these guys the axe must be 100% in the target. The paint is still included in that 100%, so if it's a 1, if the axe blade is in all the paint there, that still is good, it's a 1. If the axe blade is even just the littlest bit into the 0, that is not a 1. You're not using the device in this game, it's 100% in or nothing. Same so applies here. The axe blade is there, it's just inside the paint, so we're still good. That is a 100% three. If it's just even the slightest titch, the littlest, tiniest bit into the one area, it's a zero. Doesn't matter how small a bit it is, it's a zero. Same with the five. If it's in a little bit, if it's in on the paint, you're good. If it's a little bit out, it's a zero, all right? So you can throw zeros and score zeros, uh, same as you can in Yahtzee, again, and if you throw it across point, it's zero. You're allowed to throw for them intentionally, as in Yahtzee, so if you, you open up, you throw five, uh, four clean fives, you've got 20 points. You then throw a clean one, you've got 21 points. You've thrown five throws, you've got five more throws to take. You could throw five zeros and finish with 21, all right? The other catch is that if your axe hits and then falls on the floor, you get minus four. That, math, that counts if the axe sticks in the wall behind the target, that's a minus four. If the axe sits on top of the target, that's a minus four. If the axe sticks in the helmet, it's a minus four. Anything that's not sticking in here or in here is a minus four, all right? So zeros, 100% in, 10 throws. Clutch rules are the same as our other rules, so don't get that confused 100%. As long as it's breaking the clutch, you are good. You do not have to call the clutch. And if you throw a clutch by accident, it will count. You will get those points. So there's no, whatever you throw and hit is the points you get, regardless of what you're going for. All right? That's 21. Closest person to 21 without busting wins. You also cannot intentionally bust and then throw on the floor for a minus four to bring yourself back under 21. If at any time during your throwing, the second that you break 21, if you get 22 points, you're bust and you are out. You cannot throw a minus four after that to try and get back in the game. As soon as you bust, you are out. You can, however, be at 20, throw minus four, and then throw a bullseye. Throw on the floor intentionally for minus four, and then throw a bullseye to be 21. That is totally cool. All right? You can also go into the negatives if you just hit a bunch of zeros and then drop some on the ground. Negatives, points, suck, but count still. All right? That is 21. If there's a tie in 21, we throw a big axe. The same rules apply 100% in. You throw three big axe throws closest to seven without busting. Bam! Blackjack in your mouth.